Hi. So today I'm going to talk about weighing arguments. And by weighing arguments, I mean comparing one argument to another and deciding and helping someone who's listening to decide which one is more important. So let's take two sample arguments. Let's say we're having a debate about whether or not we should legalize drugs. So should we make things like heroin or cocaine legal in the market? We're having a debate about this. The side that's in favor of legalizing drugs might make the argument that were we to legalize drugs, if drugs were legal, people who sell drugs illegally, the black market, would disappear. And then there will be less crime and less problems with the black market. That's what the people who are in favor of legalizing drugs might say. The people who are against legalizing drugs might say that if we legalize drugs, there will be more users of these drugs who would suffer the consequences of addiction and these kinds of things. The problem that a listener now has is deciding which one of these is more important because they both seem like important claims. So there are techniques you can use. There are ways you can go about doing things, go about arguing, that makes it so that the listener will think your side is the more important side. Today I'm going to talk about three of them. So first, one way you can explain to the listener why your argument is the more important argument is by talking about how many people that argument affects. So let's look at these arguments we were talking about before. The argument that if we legalize drugs, the black market would disappear, and the argument that if we legalize drugs, more people will use them. If we're talking about how many people that affects, the side in favor of legalizing drugs might say, okay, they're probably right on the opposition that more people would use these drugs. But that's still a small part of society that would start using them. On our side, if we get rid of the black market, crime is decreased through the whole society. So way more people are affected by our argument than by theirs. So you should prefer our argument. So that's one way of weighing arguments against each other. You can demonstrate that more people are affected by your argument than the argument of the other side. So that's one way. The second way is you can talk about how much people are affected by the argument. How big is the effect that your argument has on people? So the side against legalizing drugs might say, okay, they may be right on the side in favor that the black market will disappear or will be less. But really, the black market doesn't affect people's lives very much. This going away will probably only affect each person a very little bit. There might be slightly less crime in society, which would affect individual people a little bit, but not that much. On our side, however, the users who start using these drugs will be affected in an extreme way because they will become addicted to these drugs. Their families will suffer from their addiction to these drugs. Their communities will suffer from the addiction. And in general, they're affected far more than the individuals on the side in favor of legalizing drugs because it's a profound impact on them, not just a small impact on them. So that's the second way. You can talk about how much the argument impacts people, how much the argument affects people. The third way I th think you can talk about it is you can talk about for how long this thing will affect people, right? So think about the two sides again. We had the getting rid of the black market, and we have more users. You might say that on the opposition side, the side that says we shouldn't legalize drugs, you might say, okay, the black market disappearing will be good, but probably criminals will find other things to sell. So this wouldn't affect society for very long. But on our side, individuals who become addicted to drugs are addicted for the rest of their lives. So it will affect them for a very long period of time. The proposition could disagree. The side in favor of legalizing drugs could disagree. They could say, no, actually, the uh, black market disappearing would affect people for a very long period of time because crime would decrease in society and that would have lots of effects that lasted throughout people's lives. Either way, the sides are talking about how long the argument affects people for as a way of deciding which argument is more important. 
So when we're trying to decide which argument is more important, there are three ways we talked about that you can make this easier for someone who's listening. The first way is you can talk about how many people are affected. The second way is you can talk about how much those people are affected. And the third way is you can talk about for how long they're affected.